keeping the law and doing it, amen, the Lord don't hear your prayer because you are letting the Lord know it's all right to sin because sin is the transgression of the law. So when you sin, you transgress the law. Amen. That is why the Lord is telling you, he, he, he that turn away his ear from here in the law, even your prayer shall be abomin abomination because the Lord don't hear you. That is foul. Your prayer is foul before God, like smoking his nose. Just look at it in the New Testament because some people, you know, we, we cover it on all bases here. You know, I'm reading it in the old. Let's go to the new. Let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, John, the ninth chapter. Here in John, the ninth chapter, the Lord, he had healed this brother. You know, what had happened is uh, the brother, he, you know, the disciples and the Lord was walking. So they seen his brother, they seen his blind brother, they, they, and they asked the master, who, well, <coughs> who sinned, uh, master? And Jesus said, nobody. This was done so that God may be glorified. So what the Lord did, he spit on the ground, put up some clay, and he put it on his eyes, and he told him, go wash his, wash his face in the pole. And the brother received his eyesight. He received his eyesight. And then the brothers and sisters say, hey, is this the guy who was blind? And then they said, no, this is somebody else. And, and he said, no, no, it's me. A man named Jesus did this for me. And then so now the Pharisees, and it was on the Sabbath day. So the Pharisees, they want to put their little twist into it. John, the ninth chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 18. John 9, 9 and we're going to pick it up at verse 18. 18. John 9 and 18. When you get there, go ahead and read, brother. But the Jews did not believe concerning him uh -huh. that he had been blind and he received his sight. Well, you know what, but, uh, uh, pick it up at 13. Because some of these Pharisees, you know, they, they was way out. Here it is, the Lord done done this great miracle. Brother been blind from his birth and the master had healed him. Watch what these guys are worried about. Go ahead and read. They brought to the Pharisees him that aforetime was blind. Uh, and it was a Sabbath day when Jesus made the clay and opened his eyes. Go ahead. Then again, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He said unto them, he put clay upon mine eyes, and I, and I washed and do see. Uh huh. Therefore said some, some of the Pharisees, this man is not of God because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. What did he do wrong on the Sabbath day? That was... <laughs> That was a, a glorious work. You mean to tell me, what did he do? He just healed the brother on the Sabbath day. He didn't defile it. I ain't read in the law where it say, do not heal on the Sabbath day. If a sister was having a baby on the Sabbath day, could you stop that? Let's make some sense out of this. Yeah. Go ahead and read. Others said, how can the man that is a sinner do such miracles? You know, then others say, hey, man, can't no sinners do this. No way a brother could do this in a sinner. Go ahead and read. And there was a division among them. Uh-huh. They say unto the blind man again, what sayest thou of him that had opened thine eyes? He said, he is a prophet. He said, hey, man, he a prophet. I know he a prophet. I can see. I seen him. He's a prophet. Go ahead and read. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. You know how I is, really. No, I just won't believe you. <laughs> I can't believe you. Call his parents. So they called the mom and the daddy up. Go ahead and read. And they asked him, saying, Is this your son whom you said was born blind? How then doth he now see? Go ahead. And his parents answered them and said, We know that this is our son and that he was born blind. His parents said right away, Hey, I know that's my son, and I know he was blind. Go ahead and read. But by what means he now seeth, we know not. Uh -huh. Or who has opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age. Ask him. He shall speak for himself. He, he say, hey, man, I don't know how he's seeing now. Because, you know, the Pharisees was jumping on you because, uh, hey, if you believe in Jesus, he is going to deal with you. So he said, hey, you ask him. He asked he, he ask him. Go ahead and read. He's old enough. Go ahead and read. These words spake his parents because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had all had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was a Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. See, they was doing that same thing they're doing now. You go into a church today, you get thrown out too. You come preaching the real Jesus, yeah. you getting thrown out. And, I mean, and you better not let them close the doors on you. You're going to be in real trouble. <laughs> go ahead and read. Therefore said his parents, he is of age, ask him. Uh-huh. 
Then again called they the man that was blind and said unto him, Give God the praise. We know that this man is a sinner. You know, they tell you know, they say, well, give God the praise. He did give God the praise. He gave him his praise. Go ahead and read. He answered and said, whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. He is letting him know, I don't know if he's a <laughs> sinner or not. But one thing I know for sure, I couldn't see, but now I do. Go ahead and read. Then said they to him again, what did he to thee? How open he thine eyes. Uh -huh. He answered them, I have told you already and you did not hear. He said, man, I done told you once, I done told you twice. Why you ain't listening, man? Go ahead and read. Wherefore would you hear it again? Will you, will you also be his disciple? Then he going to do a little, little, little joke there. What, you going to be his disciple too? <laughs> so you know them Pharisees, them religious were upset when he heard that. Go ahead and read. Then they reviled him and said, thou art his disciple, but we are Moses' disciples. Go ahead. We know that God spake unto Moses, but as for this fellow, we know not from whence he is. Here it is. The one that they was talking about was the one who spoke to Moses. You understand what I'm saying? He is the one that gave Moses the commandments and everything. Go ahead and read. The man answered and said unto them, Why herein is a, why herein is a marvelous thing that you know not from whence he is, and yet he has opened mine eyes. Uh huh. He said, why, why you don't understand where he came from? Here it is, he done opened my eyes. Go ahead and read. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. You see that? So the Lord, so we done read it in the new now, right? The Lord do not hear the voice of a sinner, only those that do his will. And what is his will? That you keep his commandments. That is the will of God. That is what, that's what Jesus came to do, 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 do the will of God. He kept the commandment to his death. And that is what he wants you to do. Let's go a little further. Let's go to, uh, but you know, you just ain't going to learn this thing. You know, you, just, you, you got to have somebody to teach you. You have to have somebody to guide you through the scriptures. That's why when Philip went to that Ethiopian and he was reading the book of Isaiah, he said, hey, man, do you understand? The, the Ethiopian said, hey, man, how can I know unless somebody guide me through the scriptures? Because you got to hire somebody to guide you through the script. You will not get no understanding just sitting at home just reading for yourself. Somebody have to teach you. Somebody have to teach you. And we're going to find out who's going to teach you. And he got to be walking a certain way. Let's go to Romans, the 10th chapter. Romans 10. Romans 10. And we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Romans 10 and verse 11. Romans 10 and 11. You ready, Brother Rico? Go ahead and read. For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. And if you believe in Jesus, you will, you will not be ashamed. I don't care whatever you have to go through. When it's all said and done, you will not be ashamed. But how you show you believe in him is by doing what he say. Go ahead and read. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. You know, the Lord, there's no respect to person with God. Whoever call upon him, he will hear. And he will open up the, you open up the door, he's going to sit down with you and he's going to sup with you. Go ahead and read. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that is the true assertion. But if you are calling upon him, that means you are doing what he say. Because if, you, if you're not doing what he say, you can call all you want to. He ain't going to hear you. Go ahead and read. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? First, you got to believe. Go ahead and read. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And then you have to hear something. You have to hear something. Go ahead and read. And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how you going to hear without a preacher? You have to have a man of God. We all here to have somebody stand before us and teach us. Go ahead and read. And how shall they preach except they be sent? And they, one thing, they have to be sent. And how do you know if they sin or not? By listening to what they say. All you got to do is listen. The Lord going to pull the skirt off of them. 